For nearly three quarters of a century, California professional firefighters has stood up for our state's first responders. With more than 30,000 members in nearly 180 affiliated locals, CPF's mission is to make life better for firefighters and their families. Whether it's fighting for your rights, protecting your safety, or securing your future, California Professional Firefighters is always vigilant. Republican supporters of what in the past was called the Paycheck Protection Act have qualified for the November 2012 ballot, a measure that they uh, call Stop Special Interest Money Now. When we heard that the Lincoln Club was getting ready to do another initiative, which ultimately was Prop 32, we formulated a plan just as the signatures were qualifying to put it on the ballot. We were way ahead of anybody else in organized labor. The stakes were so high in Prop 32 for passing to firefighters and for all firefighters because this essentially was another attempt to take away our voice. We held a special convention, and the purpose of that convention was to roll out a campaign plan. The very top are trying to eliminate the middle class. Part of that was a dues assessment, but more importantly, a big portion of that was getting our membership knowledgeable on the issue. And we established the largest field program we've ever done for the CPF. We had field coordinators up and down the state. From the field coordinators, they identified people in every local who would then take it out to all the members. Every person in every station knew what we were doing, where we were going and why we were doing it. California's firefighters went above and beyond the call in the fight against Proposition 32. Our union contributed over $100 per member to defeat 32, more than any other statewide labor group. When General President Schaetberger and our President Lou Paulson from CPF came to visit us on an issue like this, really helped to underline for our members how important this was. It's more than just our ability to continue to operate in the political arena. This goes really to the heart of whether or not we're going to be able to provide for our families. Firefighters were the lead in organized labor as far as the participation goes in 32. Not only did we develop a campaign plan that was effective, but our members were ultimately receptive to what we were talking about. They understood what we were saying, and they clearly made the decision that we wanted them to do, which was to defeat Prop 32. If there wasn't a statewide initiative on Prop 32, we would probably be talking about workers' compensation reform. The governor, uh, employers, and employee groups got together and sort of hammered out a reform that was signed by Governor Brown last year that created what we hope to be a more expedient system for medical care. That will ultimately bring our members back to work faster. They'll get treated faster, they'll get rehab faster, and they'll get back to work faster. We got asked to be involved in a small table to start the negotiations as this piece of legislation wound its way through the legislature. By sitting at that table, we were able to better protect firefighters and the workers' compensation system than being the one on the outside learning how the story ended. Even with our backs against the wall on Prop 32, the CPF legislative agenda has been as productive as ever. Every CPF-sponsored bill that made it to the floor during the last session passed both houses of the legislature. Two-thirds of them were signed by the governor. The perception of the California professional firefighters is, is one of high respect and trust and very professional. Every single member that wants to run for the state legislature has to sit down with our affiliates in a room and talk to them. Local firefighters and the California professional firefighters were my strongest supporters throughout the campaign. I don't think I'd be here as an assembly member without their support. The relationships that you build at the local level translate to your effectiveness at the state capitol. There's just no question about it. We provide through CPF Media Services a unique opportunity for candidates, and that's what sets us apart. We've used firefighter print and design for everything from uh, ballot measures to slate mailers to a single candidate issue. One thing I think that was really a game changer in the race was two 30-second spots, and we filmed those at the studios, and they really helped, I believe, bring to the voters of the district something that was more three-dimensional, more interactive. The CPF wants to be actively involved with locals to help them elect firefighter-friendly candidates and labor-friendly candidates. 
In 2012, we commemorated the 10-year anniversary of the California Firefighters Memorial. I can clearly remember the day when the site was dedicated, and I can clearly remember the first ceremony. We decided to hold a vigil tribute on the Friday night before the memorial ceremony. A solemn procession from the Capitol to the memorial site and a special evening of verbalized tributes from special people Sometimes. who hold the memorial as a special place in their heart. When a memorial was being built, we knew we we're paying tribute to our profession. But in the 10 years since the unveiling, the memorial has become much more. Today, this beautiful memorial is a place of reflection and remembrance dedicated to the men and women of uncommon courage. It was so emotional to be there, to hear everybody speak, and to look at the candles around the memorial. I don't think anybody who's been around from the beginning understood what that memorial means to California and to our fallen families. When there's been a line of duty death, it can be a very confusing time and emotionally disturbing time. The Cal Last team is just there as a service for departments or locals that really don't have the resources to deal with the line of duty death. Providing incident command, honor guard, the PAN, emotional support, whatever that department needs to get through those days. The California Fire Foundation and the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation came together in this unique partnership. This is the only program in the state of California designed to help departments and locals dealing with the line of duty death. At last convention, we introduced the California Firefighters Endowment. The purpose of the endowment is to establish a continued revenue stream so we can provide enough resources to the children of our fallen so they can go to school. We hope to raise close to $2 million in the next five years so that we can substantially increase the award amount to $10,000 per student. Unfortunately, we continue to see layoffs of firefighters throughout the state of California. The displaced firefighters list that's managed by the JAG has been a resource as those members get laid off, be able to go to a place where other departments can pick them up and hire them. We have never seen layoffs like we're seeing now in the state of California, and this displaced firefighter list has truly been a lifeline for many firefighters who are losing their job. We were able to procure some funding through Cal EMA for the Terrorism Consequence Management Training Program. It's been a huge success. Our active shooter program, as an example, is leading the way in the United States of America as far as a curriculum to deal with that terrible problem when it happens in the local jurisdiction. The mass shootings are gonna present some significant challenges to us. We've gotta understand all the threats and the possibilities and then be ready and be well-trained for treating mass casualties. Whether we go into a hostile situation or don't go into a hostile situation, we're very proud as co-sponsors of the JAG to have such a quality training program available to firefighters at every level. Innovative training is only one way CPF is helping to keep our firefighters ahead of the curve. The CPF mobile app provides news, incident updates, and more. There's even a virtual guide to the firefighter's Bill of Rights. CPF also continues to provide the unique range of programs and services that our members depend upon. Whether it's keeping you safe on the job or securing your future, CPF never stops working to improve the lives and livelihoods of California firefighters. The issues never stop. Whether it's death benefits, workers' compensation, EMS, privatization, the challenges will be before us and continue to be before us. We're going to have a lot of issues that are going to face us. CPF knows what our issues are, and they know how these issues affect us from call to call all the way down to the station level. We need that help. We can't do it alone at the local level. The CPF will always be vigilant, fighting every fight to make sure our communities are safe and the lives of our members and their families are safe, secure, and protected.